What's up, gang? It's Willie Rebuild back with another one. Up in the house at the garage today in the original laboratory, baby. Got that six so all broke down. Got it on the engine stand. Took a look at it and um, I don't really see no major issues to the eye anyway. Pistons got a nice good bit of carbon on them. Nice good bit of bill up on all cylinders. Took the oil pan off. Um, checked everything out from the bottom side. I ain't really see nothing that was standing out. Everything looked it pretty good other than the carbon bill up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this engine off to the machine shop. Let him double check everything for me, all the clearances and stuff like that there. And um, go pick it on back up from, from them. Everything in the inside of it, cam bearings and all that there. Everything looked it pretty good, gang. But, you know, the customer is always right. And you got to cover your ass. He said it was smoking, so I'm going to get him to double check all the clearances and stuff. And if everything check out good, I'm going to um, tell him to put another set of rings in it. And we're going to go from there with it. But I took the cam out of it. This is the cam that was in it right here. It's um comp cam part number 54-45611. I really didn't like this cam because for the heads he got, that's the part number on it. For the heads he got in the size stall converter that he running that cam there is too small so i talked to the customer i told him you know what i thought about the deal what i like to use um he agreed with me so that cam is not going back in the engine I think the specs on it is like a 219, 227. It's kind of small for a 3000 stall converter. This the cam I'm going back with. It's a Texas Speed cam. This the specs on the cam. This cam here should work really good with everything that he already got, especially with the nice heads on it, it should give him a nice power band throughout from about uh, 1800 RPMs all the way up to about 6500 RPMs. It should make good power throughout the power curve and it should work pretty good with the 3000 stall that he running. The comp cam was too small. I don't know why the guy went with it. It wasn't, it's, it's not cheap. I mean, it's not a cheap cam. This cam probably about the same cost as the Texas Speed cam, but I think he gonna get a better performance from this cam right here, what we going with. I gotta make a run and drop off a call. So I'm gonna try to get this to the machine shop today. Hopefully everything check out good. And um, we can get the guy engine back in the call and get him purring like a kitten gang. But just wanted to show y'all 
what I was doing while I was changing out the cam because that cam was too small. He got a nice set of heads on it and it's kind of defeating the purpose with the small cam and the 3000 stock converter, torque converter with the little bitty cam in it. Everything got to work together, gang, so you can get good power out of these engines. You gotta have a nice setup going. He had a lot of things that's good on the car, but some of the things they dropped the ball on when they was putting everything together. But we gonna go ahead and get him squared away and get him purring like a kitten. And he, and he should be able to enjoy the call. Not should be, he gonna enjoy the call once he get it back from Willie Rebuild. Cause once we put everything back together and get a tune on it, she gonna run like a champ. I wanted to go with a bigger cam than this cam right here. But I couldn't do that because I was gonna need a bigger converter. Cause with those heads, those heads he got, they flow pretty good. But I couldn't go too big on the cam because I'm trying to save the guy money at the same time and use some of the parts he got. He got a good converter in the car and I want to utilize that instead of just telling the guy, change this, change that. I want to work with a lot of the stuff that he already got is good parts. It's just some of the stuff don't work good together and everything has to work good together. Is Willie Rebuild just bringing y'all an update on the Elko and letting y'all see I got everything torn down. It been torn down. All of the new cam, it then came in. Engine going to the machine shop. Um, all this permatex and shit that they got on the back, around the boats and stuff, all that's gonna get cleaned up. As you can see, I got all new gaskets sitting right there. Got the GM Performance head gaskets I'm gonna put back on and all the new head boots for it as well. Is Willie Rebuild trying to save the guy a dollar and trying to get it to where he can enjoy this car so he can put some wet paint on there and get the car in traffic game. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's Willie Rebuild over and out.